Hello everyone, X Workers here, and for today's video, we're gonna make tinola or it's the chicken soup in the Philippines, and I'm gonna add a twist because I'm gonna add cabbage. So, if you're new to my channel or if you're new here at Facebook, just hit like and follow me, and also on my YouTube channel, you can also follow me there and then subscribe, like, and then click the notification bell so that you will be updated every time I post a new video. So, are you ready? Let's do it! Okay, guys, for the ingredients, I have here um, gizzard and heart, chicken gizzard and heart, and also I have this uh, drumstick part of the chicken. I have the cabbage for the vegetable, and then we have ginger, garlic, and onion, and also this one to garnish the pepper, the green chili pepper, and also have this uh, chayote or sayote in Filipino, which is really good, and also I have this. Um, horseradish leaves which is really good so let's start cooking guys okay guys madali lang naman siya lutuin so magkatagal ako para sa inyo so kailangan i-defrost nyo po na kung matigas yung meat nyo and also wash all the vegetables just like this one and also for this horseradish so you have to take the leaves one by one just like that what I'm doing at syempre kailangan natin linisin ang ating vegetables wash all your vegetables guys because you never know like any insects that touch it so make sure they're all clean and also prepare everything all your condiments your spices I love spices because they make the food tastier and better just like this one and also the ginger like this guys just cut it into small pieces that ng ginagawa ko guys I love ginger because ginger remove all the bad smell out of the chicken so Ito po yung sayote or chayote guys, so I cut it. This is what we do in the Philippines, we cut, manually cut it and that's how you do it and cut it in dice just like this one guys. But not that too small guys, just right. And also soak it in water because they are changing color really quick. And also for the cabbage, this is my first time adding cabbage to it. So right now I think it's soft, now the meat is soft and make sure you clean the board before because of cross contamination and then cut it right now guys cut the chicken in small strips so that it can be cooked so easily and also what I do I cut all the other the gizzard and the heart just like this one guys so you can see and add salt and pepper to taste guys before you fry it or saute it just like this one, mash with your hand. Make sure your hands are clean. So let's start the cooking. Hit the pan, put the oil, and saute all the garlic, onion, and the ginger first. And then afterwards, add the chicken. And then simmer it. Make sure, yeah, just saute it and simmer it for around 5 to 10 minutes. And salt and pepper again to taste, guys. Just like this one, this. Uh, it and then add water so that water can boil the meat and tender it and also I use this mamacitas tinola mix because I don't have a chicken cubes or nor chicken cubes the broth one so just simmer it for 5 to 10 minutes and also add the sayote to soften and also add the cabbage cabbage is really good and it's really easy to cook so you can put it in the latter part of your cooking and then afterwards rice is live so there should be rice guys and then put the horseradish leaves uh, you can put it at the very end before it's fully cooked just like this one guys and then saute it a little bit and to mix everything the vegetable and also add this green chili pepper for garnish and that's it guys this is extra Garcia a few moments later let's eat itadakimasu taste test for this chicken oh my gosh the whole lot okay let's eat guys let's try this thing
Ini sih asal. The cabbage is really good for the quinoa, and also this is the heart, guys. Very serious one. Let's try the. Really good. It's my first time adding cabbage. It's really good, guys. So good. And then I have this coconut milk, guys. So I'm just gonna finish eating, guys. And thank you for watching. And then you can follow the recipes as well if you want to. And also, if you're new to my channel, this is the time for you to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will be updated for my next video. And also, I have a Facebook page named Exo Garcia. Well, I do everything, vlogs and food vlogs as well. And you can like, share, and follow that page as well. And I will put that on the description down below. That's it, guys. See you on my next one. Bye. Stay safe.